Hello. Today we're going to discuss One Identity Safeguard and One Identity Starling two-factor authentication and how to integrate these two products so that we can take advantage of the security that two-factor authentication brings to the Safeguard appliance. So the topics that we're going to cover today, we're going to sign up for a Starling Cloud and Starling 2FA trial account. Uh, we're going to demonstrate how to join from Safeguard. We're going to assign Starling two-factor authentication as a secondary authentication for a specific user. We'll demonstrate the login, and then I will show the, the token behavior from the Chrome token app. I will then talk about where to get soft tokens from. Uh, I'll show you the Starling 2FA dashboard and how we've started to get statistics at this point. I will demonstrate the approval anywhere functionality within Safeguard. And then I'll talk about the Starling status page and notification signups to wrap it all up. So to get started, first of all, we need a Starling account. Now, as a customer who's purchased Safeguard, you may already have a registration email or an invitation that's been sent to you. And if so, you should be using that invitation to sign up for Starling from that email address. Uh, since you would have you wouldn't have a trial in that instance you'd have a uh, full-on uh, uh, subscription to Starling two-factor authentication for Safeguard. So if you don't have that email someone else in your organization may, may have gotten it uh, and if you're not sure where that is uh, I would recommend talking to your account rep they can get that sent to you again. So for now though for my purposes I'm going to sign up for a trial. going to use a generic email address for our purposes today. Put in some basic information. And a phone number is mandatory. There. Now I'm going to get an email so I can confirm my email address is valid. Uh, complete the registration. And now I should be able to log in normally. Okay, so at this point, now that I'm logged in, uh, I'm going to start a two-factor authentication trial. It wants to know my location. This is mainly for things like area codes, country codes, things of that nature. And I automatically get a 30-day trial. If I click in here, it's not much to see right now because I don't have any users. Uh, I don't have any activity or anything like that, but we're going to change that here shortly. So at this point in time, I'm going to go to my Safeguard Appliance. I'm going to log in as an administrator. And I'm going to go to Settings. And where I want to work right now is under External Integration. And we're going to configure this for the approval anywhere, which we talked earlier, which points us to One Identity Starling down here. And we're going to join. And we're going to log in using the account we just registered under. Right, so now we get a uh, success message letting us know we've, we've joined and approval anywhere has been enabled and Starling two-factor authentication has been enabled. So at this point in time, uh, it's enabled, but it's not being enforced. So we actually have to apply this to a user. So if I go over to users, and I'm going to find my administrator account that I just logged in with. 
and I'm going to require secondary authentication. And I'm going to select Starlink 2FA from the list. And I can set an alternate mobile phone number at this point in time, even though I have one set in Active Directory already under the mobile number attribute. However, if a different mobile number is uh, desired, this is a place where you can set that specifically. Uh, may be desirable in some organizations. Uh, a mobile number, however, uh, is uh, is a requirement for this that's mandatory. Uh, you also need an email address set for that user as well. Save that. So now if I log out and log back in again, it should ask me to validate using a, a token or an SMS message. There, and now we're back to our login screen. And log in. So by default, if you have a token set up, this will do a push authentication. If you click use a one-time password instead, it will uh, allow you to use something like uh, an SMS message or something of that nature. I'm going to put in my token number for this demonstration and submit. Perfect. So the other thing I want to show you today is approval anywhere. So first of all, let's make sure we're configured to use that. We're going to go back to settings. We're going to go back to external integration and approval anywhere. All right, so perfect. I'm already in here. Uh, you can add other users, but because I had uh, Starling two-factor authentication set up on my user account, I was automatically placed in here because I'm an approver. So I'm going to go log in as a regular user now. So now I'm going to log in as a regular user who makes requests. Select new request for the asset I have set up. I'm requesting the password. I'm going to put any reason. I'm testing today. And I'm going to submit request. Now, as you can see, on my Chrome token here, I, the request pops right up for me, wherever I am. It's also on my phone as well, but it's much harder to show. So now I'm going to approve this. And back on Safeguard, we can see it changes and it updates, and we're good to go. So that's approval anywhere. The one last thing I want to show you today is our status page. Any outages, any issues we're having will reflect here on our status page. So if you're having issues or anything like that, it's always a great place to check. It's status.cloud.oneidentity.com. And once you're here, I would strongly recommend subscribing to updates. So you can choose to get them via email, phone call, or text, I should say, not an actual phone call. Um, or even an RSS, RSS feed or an Atom feed, whichever you prefer. Um, this way, if there's any issues whatsoever, you'll have it in your email or a text message uh, ahead of time and also any updates, including when the issue is resolved as well. So, so that concludes our demonstration today for Safeguard and Starling two-factor authentication integration. To learn more about Safeguard and Starling 2-Factor Authentication, please visit support.oneidentity.com.